Welcome and Mary Mead. This is my very first post on my brand new metaphysical YouTube channel. It's so new I haven't even thought of a name for it yet. And I've been very inspired by Jacqueline Dubois' um, lessons in metaphysics on her YouTube channel. And to be frank, I've wanted to do this for like two years now, but I had so many fears that I didn't really want to out myself as a witch on YouTube. And basically, I've begun to feel like if you have all these talents and you're not using them, then how can you expect to help people or share or have prosperity or any of the other things in life that you want? So I'm taking a big leap of faith here, and I figure if it goes really bad, I can always delete it. Before I moved here uh, last October, I didn't really need to be on YouTube because, you know, I could teach private classes, I lived in a big metropolis, I was teaching and doing psychic readings at the Learning Light Foundation for five or six years, and so I had an outreach to people, but now I live out in the middle of nowhere, as you'll see in a minute, and I don't really know anyone here, and the ones I have met are very um, conservative, and I don't really think they'd be coming over. At least I don't think they're going to be watching my YouTube uh, witchy video thing. So as you can see from this angle, um, I've moved to the desert. And I'm in the Mojave. That's all I'll tell you for now, and we'll see how this goes. And behind me you can see some beautiful Joshua trees and creosote bushes and uh, all kinds of things. And it's beautiful out here and very peaceful, and it's become like a sanctuary to me. I was not thrilled with living here or moving here. But I really am enjoying it now because I have a blank canvas to start over. And the yard is a huge blank canvas for any kind of um, plants I want to grow or um, circles I want to set up or altars I want to do. And I never had that luxury in my tiny apartment. The house itself is tiny and is still full of boxes. So whether or not I'll do anything indoors, I don't know yet for a while anyways until I get organized. So a little about myself, um, I was actually, I became a Christian in high school and I was a Christian for seven years. So please don't post underneath that I just haven't found Jesus and that's why I'm, and I need to convert because I've been there, I've done that. I'm happy if it works for you, you know, good on you, but I have a short fuse for that. Then I basically went back to my pagan roots that I intuitively knew as a child. As a child I studied um, mental telepathy and psychic stuff with my father and did all kinds of like UFO studies and ghost research and you know I was very curious about all of that when I was a kid and so during those seven years in high school and into my young married life I kind of got away from all that but I really missed it um, and then sometime in the 80s I started doing tarot at like renaissance fairs for my own self for my friends and um, all over California and I started doing psychic fairs and so, just to give you a background, um, I was in a group, it wasn't a coven, it was like a half of a coven and a half of a white light healing group in San Luis Obispo, and that was very nice for a few years until I moved away. So I got to meet a lot of people from a lot of pagan backgrounds and other religions, and um, I guess that group is still going, but I'm not really in touch with them anymore. And then I also taught belly dancing for 20 years, and. Um, not that all belly dancers are pagan, but a lot of them are. And I taught at different um, adult, you know, schools that have all those different classes. I taught at the Learning Light Foundation, like I said. And, um, you know, I traveled around a bit. The last few years I haven't done that much because I was pretty much suppressed in my other environment. I didn't really have room to grow. So now I'm out here, I have a whole new opportunity, and I hope you'll follow my channel. You know, the term witch it has such a <laughs> loaded uh, meaning, and I, I really like the term creatrix because that's what we are. We're born in the image of the creatrix, and, and we're creating things. And uh, today I'm doing prosperity magic, which is why I'm totally dressed in green. And I have this beautiful selenite, and I don't know if it shows on camera, but it's like a greenish tinge and uh, translucent white combination. And so I've got this out, and I've got my brand new onk out. So, you know, I dressed up for you guys. But usually if I'm just working on stuff in the yard, like my next tutorial, I'm making a witch broom. Um, you know, I don't dress up for those things. Sorry about that. <laughs> 
I'd rather be doing stuff than putting on makeup, but, you know, today I did, so, yay, go me. I think what's been holding me back with my prosperity is I really haven't been sharing my gifts. And by that I mean I haven't been, like, teaching classes, doing readings, um, working as a psychic. I just haven't had the opportunity that much. And I had to sell my car because it was, like, 35 years old. And so it wasn't safe. And that really kind of clipped my wings, so to speak. But, hey, I have YouTube now. I can do it here until I get a car. And I'm doing my prosperity stuff. And most of you are doing prosperity stuff, too. I know you. And times are, like, hard right now. So let's all pull together and stay positive and do some prosperity stuff. I'm wearing green because it attracts money. And it attracts, it's like spring and abundance and prosperity. And American money is green, so, you know, I can use more of that. And it's not just about money, it's about being open to new things. And I met this cute little psychic from Australia named Crystal, or Christabel. And she said, always fold your money towards you, and that way more money will come your way. So there's a little tip for your uh, paper money, fold it towards you. I think that's about all for now. I don't want to overwhelm you on my first uh, venture into my new metaphysical channel. Uh, if you want to leave a comment, that's awesome. And uh, hopefully we'll learn something together. I don't know everything. No one knows everything. All I can do is show you what's working for me or not working for me. All right? Merry part. Hey there, now I'm in the truck, and I was just thinking about some things. Namely, when you're asking for prosperity, you don't want just enough to get by. You don't want to, like, visualize, okay, my rent is, like, $1,200, so I need exactly $1,200, and then I'll be okay, because you want a cushion. You want to have enough that you can pay all of your normal bills, and enough for a rainy day, and then enough, you know, to get an ice cream cone. So, when you're thinking about what you want, be clear that you want an abundance over and above. You, you want your cup to run it over, so to speak. Rain is in the forecast, and everything is starting to bud, like the little tiny buds on the trees are all starting to leaf out. And the rain, we really do need it. Uh, but our neighbor said, in the forecast she read, snow was in the air. So it could rain or it could snow. So tonight might be interesting. I'm hoping spring is on the way and we're done with the snow part, but we'll see.